Have a great day. Our devotion for today is about putting others first. Jonah didn't know what God would do next, but he stopped thinking about himself and thought about the sailors who were going to die. In Genesis 1, 9-12 says, Jonah answered, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the land. Verse 10, The sailors were terrified when they heard this, for he had already told them he was running away from the Lord. Oh, why did you do it? They groaned. Verse 11, And since the storm was getting worse all the time, they asked him, What should we do to you to stop this storm? Verse 12, Throw me into the sea, Jonah said, and it will become calm again. I know that this terrible storm is all my fault. The waves were whooshing higher and higher, and the wind was howling. The sailors were now terrified. What shall we do? They shouted, clinging on for their lives. Jonah knew the answer. Pick me up and threw me over the side, he shouted back. Then the sea will be calm again and you will be safe. The sailors didn't want to hurt Jonah, so they tried to row back to land, but the sea grew wilder. They realized there was no other way, so the sailors threw Jonah overboard down into the deep blue sea. You cannot seek God's love and run from Him at the same time. Jonah soon realized that no matter where he went, he couldn't get away from God. But before Jonah could return to God, he first had to stop going in the opposite direction. What has God told you to do? If you want more of God's love and power, you must be willing to to carry out the responsibilities he gives you. You cannot say that you truly believe in God if you don't do what he says. Jonah knew that he had disobeyed and that the storm was his fault, but he didn't say anything until the crew cast luck. And the lot fell on him. Then Jonah was willing to give his life to save the sailors, although he had refused to do the same for the people of Nineveh. Jonah's hatred for the Assyrians had affected his perspective. And that's the word for today, putting others first. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you, Father God, for your precious word that reminds us once again. And help us, O Lord, to start by putting other people first. And help us by the power of your Holy Spirit, O God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.